Oh my God. Right guys, Roy here from Your Golf Travel. Sophie Walker in the house as well. We are in the Costel Salt in Spain and I've got a treat for you, Sos. <laughs> Final day of the tour, we're at Finca Cortesin. 2023 Solheim Cup venue. Look at the smile. I'm <laughs> excited. You've never been here before? No, I've not. It looks spectacular. The tees look beautiful, the layout, service is good, and yeah. you can order champagne. So, what are we playing for? <laughs> On the course, by the way. Solheim Cup venue 2023. We're going to play some match play style golf. We're going to do a mixture of foursomes, four balls and, and singles. singles. Just like the Solheim Cup, which will be here in 2023. Yeah, two years time. So who are you? Are you America or am I America? I can't be American, I'm sorry. I'm well, European. look, I reckon I'm looking more okay. European. Right, so. yeah, right, you be European. <laughs> I suppose Navy's a bit American. Yeah. I'll be American. Uh, okay. I'll be Nelly Corder, is that all right? She's yeah, not too bad, Who am I from the European team? Leona Maguire. I'm okay. Irish. Oh, so. you're Irish. There, there we go. go. Right, let's get going. Shot. Well, oh, sorry, Nelly. <laughs> <laughs> so, the games obviously being foursomes, four ball, and singles, we want you guys to guess our gross score because obviously we're not competing against each other when we're playing foursomes and four balls. So, you pop down into the comment section and guess a gross score, and later on, we will go head to head, and then you can start guessing who's going to win between me and Soph, USA versus Europe. USA! <laughs> USA! We've got 193 in. Yeah, it's a long way. It's, it's it's dewy this morning, we're first tea time out. So. You just witnessed my, the first time I've moved my arms today, so yeah. I've got five iron, but I don't think I'm getting there, so it's sorry. That little punchy one, I like that. That's fine, it's a bit skinny. Face. Go. Yeah, front edge, for yeah, sure. I mean, I wasn't getting there, and I might get there in like an hour's time, but <laughs> not now. <laughs> right, so my five iron punchy thing came up a good two clubs short early in the morning. Haven't swung a club yet, but so it's got a tidy short game, so I think we've got a decent chance of getting this up and down, but bogey on the first wouldn't be the end of the world. And the greens here are seriously pure, as you expect at such a classy venue. And we've got about 10 feet proper. Right, fair bit of swing here, so. Yeah, the importance to getting off to a good start yeah. in the Solheim Cup. 60% of holes won the first hole, win the match. Did you know that? I did not. Now know let's that. roll this one in. Oh, sideways. Wow. <laughs> well. As the European, I'm going to give you that, Soph. <laughs> I'm going to take <laughs> yeah. a five on the first. <laughs> Rory on the par three. <laughs> Just what you want when you haven't had a little warm up. You want two long irons to kick your day off. Yeah. So we've got two iron into this par three. I mean, we're playing off the yellows, aren't we? Um, but yeah, two, two longish holes to start. I think the first, because it was a bit wet, I didn't get down that down slope. So I don't yeah. think the first is as scary if you're a little bit longer off the tee, but this is a all carry. Get down. Oh no, it's in the bunker. Good strike though. I was happy with the strike, yeah. I was kind of I was doing that thing we were talking about yesterday, I was protecting against hitting that left because that's yeah. gone left on this hole. Pretty, pretty hole. Right, so come up in the bunker right at the green. So he's just done some scouting. Pin, sorry, the, the green is running away from her. She's playing off a downslope in the bunker, so it's going to be super fast. I think it's just a case of just getting it just onto the green and letting gravity take over, isn't it, so? Yeah, yeah. It's not an easy shot for sure. Yeah, so you've got skid, she's playing off a down slope, onto a down slope, down to the pin. This is not easy. I'm glad I'm not playing it, basically. 
And here we go. Yeah, you can see how quick that is. She kind of played that almost as well as you can, really. She's just carried it onto the green. And yeah, that is a I left her in the worst spot possible, basically. Yeah, well done. Two over through two. Yeah, must do better. Yeah, I must do better. <laughs> Par five, Soph. Chance to get on back, hopefully. Yeah. Just under 500 yards. Yeah, water left. Big water hazard on the left. First couple of fairways are reasonably wide. Is that kind of... There's plenty of space on the course off the yeah. tee. It's just there's some holes where if you do go sideways enough, then it yeah. starts All becoming right. troublesome. But yeah, I mean, it's not. It's certainly not a tight course, I don't think. No. That will be very unfair. Shot. Yeah, very good. So you say 220 to carry the water, so? 220 to carry the water, Raimondo. This this is your time. <laughs> it's in the European blue. Uh, a little bit gassed, but if you're gonna do it gas out to the right that's, yeah. ended up being that's a really a good, good layup miss. good layup that's a horrendous shot but it's a good miss <laughs> just coming up onto the green on this unbelievably pretty par five sun just starting to peak up over the top of the horizon think of course and looking unbelievable as usual in the morning sun and sophie pitching up the green after my this kind of sclaffy rubbish through but ended up in quite a nice spot to be honest pitching straight up the hill I think she can throw this quite far. I'm not sure if you can see an old hole over there somewhere on the green, but I'm guessing she might try and pitch it there. Yeah, she pitched it just past that. That I would rate as a very good shot. Right, third part, so it's time to get one back on our imaginary foes. <laughs> think of the fist pump, <laughs> the European fist pump, right to left, birdie pop. Silenced the crowd. <laughs> Rory I'll did that, you, didn't he? At Hazel Team. I'll so. give you most of the credit for that, Birdie. So. <laughs> no, you finished off the job. Well, this is nice. Reachable par four. What's the flag? Two six three for the pin. It's going to be good at match by this hole, isn't it? Yeah. Early on as well, I like that. Straight after a par five too, so yeah, get scoring chances. Well, I've leaked out to the right, so. Very safe. I would say that the general golfing public have maybe fallen a little bit more in love with Solheim, especially over the last four to six years. Yeah, I think you're right. I mean, the Solheim Cup only started in 1990. It was at Lake Nona and it was a bit of a small event and it's grown to the stage. I mean, the Glen Eagles, I think, was the massive turning point for, I think, women's golf fans would watch the Solheim and then suddenly we got men watching it and non-golf fans. It became Casuals, a massive yeah. sporting event, didn't it? Mm. And the Glen Eagles was amazing. That last hour, that turnaround, the Suzanne Pedersen putt. And then... The one at Inverness. Yeah. It's always great when the uh, Europeans go and win on American soil. But yeah, for me, Solheim Cup, it's the pinnacle of the women's game. So for it to come to Spain, they've had some great Solheim Cup players. Um, and it's Europe, isn't it? You know, you, you, I quite like the fact it's come to mainland Europe. Yeah, and I, I think the scale of the event is, is definitely on the up. And to come to a venue like this, and we've only, we're only on four holes <laughs> yeah, in right now, but I think you can get an idea of just how big an event they could stage here. The amount of people they could fit yeah. in, the stands they could put around, There's, it seems purpose built yeah. for a tournament like this. It Solheim is, and, and you know what, Solheim deserves that. It's 24 of the best players in the world going after it. And the atmosphere at the Solheim is great. There isn't that heckling. You, yeah. you see at the Ryder Cup, there's, there's almost a bit of abuse yeah. there. You don't get that so much at the Solheim Cup. You get loads of people, but it's more of a, it's a friendly atmosphere, but the golf is equally as good. Yeah. Well, the golf has not has been equally as good from <laughs> me, especially so far, but we can easily make a par on this after my rubbers tee, so let's see if we can get a birdie. Vamos, Rory. <laughs> I feel like I'm letting the side down a little bit at the moment. 
I do have a lot better drives in me than that. So Sophie pitching from a good 70 yards now and this was a totally drivable par four for me. It wasn't, distance wasn't the issue. Oh my God. <laughs> Laser girl. <laughs> I thought I was going to pitch in the hole. What a shot. Well, I don't know if that was lucky or unlucky. It was accurate. Very accurate, yeah. I did take two lasers with me, yours and mine. Maybe that's why it was that's super accurate. Yeah, you zapped it twice. Right, let's go back to back. What you got read wise? Pretty straight. Yeah, cool. Go for it. Oh. Ooh. Back, well, to back. back to back. To all square, not <laughs> back to level park. Against so our wordy. imaginary opponent. And the crowds are still going wild. <laughs> Right. Three on the bounce, shall we make it? Shall we? 500 yard par five, wide fairway. Gonna... Gorgeous looking hole, isn't it? Yeah, isn't it? Sure. Somewhere at one of those beautiful white villas in the distance. Right, so it's got the exact same yard as she had on the last, so I'd expect nothing other than another clatter into the pin. Um, big runoff here to the left of the green. Bunker short and right, so the miss is long right of the pin, middle of the green stuff, but I think she's probably gonna go dead at it. She hasn't got a huge amount of green to work with. That's another really good looking shot if it stops. Oh yeah, shot so. Birdie number three, shall we? Three in a row. Oh. Daddy, I wanna order a turkey. Oh, shame. Well, good putt though. I thought I'd yeah, break a bit more. We've gone back to level, level, so not too bad after start, right? So yeah, we're coming good. back at the imaginary people. Six hole, par three. Yeah. So so far, Strategy. the even holes have been the par three. So that's something for the captains to think about. Yeah. We've obviously if, not thought about I, it. If I do qualify for the Solheim Cup, <laughs> yeah. you have me going off the odds. <laughs> 160, up, built the hill, Rory's going to hit a seven. Stay there, grab a piece. Yeah, it's on the green. That pin at the back, do we think? Middle, I think it said. Alright, it should be 25 feet, I guess. So on the GPS, it actually sets the pins out. So oh, really? it's not guessing, it's it's on the GPS. It's pretty cool. I've not nice. seen that before. Right, so quick bit of history on the Finger Courts in. Open for play in 2007. And it's basically set up for tournament golf. Obviously there are loads of sets of tees. I think there's five in total. So golfers of all abilities can find their comfort zone. But it measures 7,400-ish yards off those back tees. They've had the Volvo World Match play here on the European Tour. So as you can see, tournament pedigree golf course and no surprises, right, that the Solheim Cup would be coming to a course like this as it heads to Spain. Speaking of the overall yardage, what do we think they're gonna be playing the Solheim from in terms of tee positions or overall length, so in comparison to obviously the back tees? Yeah, well obviously the men just kind of go as far back as possible, but the women, you can mix it up a bit. So I'm looking at between a yellow and a gold, which is, 6,500 yards, yeah. but that's what's great. They can move the tees around and match play. They do that as well. So that, I think that's the benefit of women's golf. You yeah. don't have to go all the way to the back tees. You yeah. can find the right tee for, for so the right So you can actually hole. add quite a lot of variety into the golf course, whereas yeah. obviously with the men, it's just get them as far back as possible and yeah. punish them. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, let's rock in another birdie, shall we, to make it how many? Three and four holes. Yeah. Uh, putting into the sun but I will take that as an approach shot for me. So first part of the day for Soph, birdie time. Can we make it three in four? It's a nice looking roll. Turn now, turn now. Oh, <laughs> get <Catch> in. <laughs> three and four, what a putt. First putt of the day as well. I thought that was in and then I thought it had missed and then yeah. it was like, in. <laughs> it's like, like a washing machine. Washing machine. <laughs> Love it. 
Right guys, all done on the foursome section. We managed to recover from an absolutely horrendous start to finish those six holes in one under par. Um, if you enjoyed that video, make sure you stay tuned for part two where we'll be playing four ball, better ball. In theory, we could score better in four ball, better ball than foursome. We have three birdies at four ball, better ball. I think we've done well. We've yeah. absolutely smashed the foursome. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, four ball, better ball section of the video coming up, hole seven to 12, and then finishing off with some singles where Sophie will be taking on the mighty Rory Anderson. Oh dear, I'm in trouble.